welcome to Burns Junk Closet. I am your YT cheerleader. Woo, woo, woo. Let me get my pom poms for you. You know that? I'm your YT cheerleader. Woo. So today I am going to go over 10 questions that I'm always asked about YouTube from content creators. Okay, it could be either new content creators or current content creators that may just have questions. Maybe they don't know. Maybe I don't know. I may ask them, but we are here to answer them. Now I have it one to 10, so I have my board so I don't get confused of where I'm going and I'm going to answer them one by one for you. So stay tuned for the video. Okay, we are back. So the first question that I get asked is, what are the requirements to be monetized as a content creator on YouTube? Okay, so the answer is ding. One, you need to have 1,000 subscribers plus 4,000 public watch hours. Now, let me go over that. Subscribers are people who are going to be watching your content come into your channel. Okay, so that's one thing. The 4,000 public watch hours mean your videos must be on public, not on unlisted or private, or they do not count toward the watch hours. I also want to reiterate that it does, that YouTube gives you 365 days, one full year to obtain the requirements to get monetized. Now, also they have a, well, it's not a new feature, but they have a feature now where um, you can click the checkbox and they will send you an email when you have met the requirements. Okay, on to question two. Question two is, do I need to gain 4,000 public watch hours every year? Okay, so I'm going to explain this and break it down to you. Okay, so you do not need to get it every year. However... You do need to maintain it, okay? Meaning you still must go live, still keep uploading videos and or doing premieres. You can also schedule your videos if you're really busy and you're not able to upload like on a Wednesday. If you schedule it, it will upload on its own or you can do a premiere where you can have it scheduled. Oh, I know I'm gonna be available for 15 minutes at 12.30 today, so I'll schedule that. Um, premiere and then I could be there. You can do that. Okay. So with the um, watch hours again, just keep uploading, keep putting out that content, keep uploading, keep going live and keep doing your premieres. That is really all it is to it. Now I do want to make a note. If you do not make any videos or any contents for six full straight months, there is a chance, there's a chance that YouTube may take your monetization away, okay? So at this time, I'm gonna refer you to the guidelines of YouTube where you can read that on your own, okay? Question three is, what are good editing apps or thumbnails? Okay, what are good editing apps or thumbnails? So here are some that I use that I know are pretty good, okay? So you can use Power Director and Kind Master, and I am not being paid for this through them. It's not a sponsored video through them. But I love Power Director. That's what I'm using now. Power Director. <laughs> um, open Shot Video. iMovie. Okay. Now for thumbnails, you can use Canva, C-A-N-V-A, and Thumbnail Maker. There are a lot out there, guys. All you have to do is Google it or ask your fellow content creator or go on some other people's pages and you may see where, I don't know if you can see it here, but you might see the power director sign somewhere here. And that's how you can tell what they're using also. On to question four. Question four. Do I need to purchase an expensive camera or equipment to be a, a content creator or YouTuber? Okay. The short answer is no. You can use your cell phone as long as it has a camera. You can use a small video camera. They are not expensive. If you already have one, use what you have. You can use a picture frame from like the dollar store that sits uh, something like this and it sits on there and you can sit your phone there. You can prop it up. Now, once you get better at being a content creator, of course, upgrade your equipment. But if you're just starting out, I personally would say 
Do not go out there and spend a thousand dollars on a camera or a microphone to do that. That's just my personal opinion. However, you can do what you want. Okay. What I say is use the picture frame instead of a tripod. Or you can go to one of the big box stores or one of the smaller $5 stores and get a tripod. They have the tabletop ones. You can also use, again, your phone as long as it has a camera. You don't need a big expensive camera. And a microphone like the one I have on here, you can buy that from your local dollar stores or your stores that are medium size instead of buying a big expensive microphone that you may not be able to afford. That's just my opinion, guys. But these are tips to help you out from the questions that I get from other content creators because I am the YT cheerleader. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay, on to question five. Can I film on my phone? Can I do a video on my phone? Yes, you can. That's what I'm doing. I'm on my phone right now as I'm doing this video. However, if you have a computer, you can also video on there or if you have the little camera that sits on top the webcam that also helps but it's up to you okay question six how often should i upload in a day in 24 hours okay for me i would say if you are a content creator coming to me you are new to youtube i would say first upload twice a day i would say that would be the max however YouTube does say, and look at the guidelines, you can upload up to three times per day. Now, I say two times because your first video is here, 8 o'clock a.m. You made your next video at 5 p.m. It's really not giving this video enough time to circulate in the algorithm before this one comes and pushes it down. That's my analogy of it. However, you can upload whenever you want, however you want. But the question was asked, how often should I upload in a day? Mine would be two. Another thing, if you do a video in the morning and you go live in the afternoon, remember now that live is going to push that video down. So that's just my perception of it. Read the guidelines if you want more clarity. This here, I'm just giving you tips as the YouTube cheerleader to help you out. Okay. The next one is seven. Do I need to tag my videos? What do you think? <laughs> so, YouTube states you should tag your videos. However, sometimes we get busy. We don't tag every video or every live stream that we have. I don't tag everyone. I try to tag um, most of the time or either I have preset tags that you can put in your default sections. However, I will always hashtag it according to what the video is that I'm doing. That I do. I change the names of the hashtag. But if you have standard hashtags for your channel, if you're a specialty channel, you know, you're going to keep your specialty hats, hashtags, but you're also going to hashtag what you're talking about in that video. So do I need to hashtag my videos? Yes and no. Again, yes, if you're going to be doing a trending topic, but no, if you're just doing a small video just to throw something out there again it's your option to do what is good for you all right question eight how do i pin a comment on my videos i love this i love pinning comments so to pin a comment what you need to do is after you upload your video you're going to upload it in private so you can get the icons to see if you have anything that's holding your video back okay so you don't have any copyright claims or anything like that after you make the video and you premiere it or you upload it or whatever you're going to do with it, you're going to type it in the search engine. You're going to type your name of your channel. You're going to find that video. Once you find that video, and I'm just saying this is what I do. You don't have to do exactly. You do what you is good for you. I say, hi, thank you for watching this video. Come into my channel. Please share it out. Here's another video of mine that you may be interested in. Then you copy and paste the link of that video, and then you send it. Once you send it, you can go back and hit pin. Pin are the three dots on the right-hand side. It's going to say pin. You're going to click that, and it's going to pin. Now, I do want to tell you, if you ever change that comment and say you want to add in a second video, 
it will delete the first comment that you had and upload it to the second one. So I may insert that somewhere in here. So I'll give myself a few seconds. So it'll be right there so you can see what I'm referring to. Okay. Number nine. How can I get in touch with YouTube if I have a question? This is awesome. You can get into YouTube. The best way to contact them would be to go on Twitter under YouTube. That is, oops, sorry. The best way to contact them. Okay, that is the best way to contact them. However, once you are monetized, you are able to send them an email directly, okay? So again, if you want to get in contact with YouTube, the best way is through Twitter, okay? And question 10, how do I get a viral video? Don't we all want that? You know, I think I have one or two, but don't we all want a viral video? Okay. It depends. <laughs> it depends on several factors on how you get a viral video. You may be a new content creator that have came out with the topic that just was at that time is what was needed on YouTube and boom, you have 50,000 followers, you have a million subscribers or whatever. It depends, okay? But if you're a normal standard content creator where you have to work at it, like I do, <laughs> but my followers are amazing. I would say if you're not getting lucky and you didn't just blow up out your video, study what is trending. That That's a good way. Study what's trending. Be unique. If you're going to copy a video from someone else, put your own spin on it. Put what is unique to you and your channel, okay? And also, share on social media. All of your social medias. If you have Instagram, if you have Facebook, if you have um Reddit, if you have Snapchat, whatever you have, share out on other social media sites to tell them, hey, I have a video coming out. Please come over here and watch me. Share it on Twitter, wherever. That to me is the best way. Okay. So if you're new, this is just a tip for you, an extra tip. Type your name in the search engine twice a day, at least for one month, because you want your name to get out in the search engine, which is the little search bar at the top. So in order for your name to get out there to be searchable, it has to be in the search engine. So that's just a little tip. Another tip is once you reach 100 followers, you can get your own customized URL. And what that is, is you add like a tag like on the bottom. I'm just going to say you put ABC123, whatever it is. And that's just a good way to customize your channel to you. And I may also insert that in here somewhere, maybe here or here or here or here, one of these places. It'll be there. But again, guys, I am Vern. You are at Vern's Junk Closet. And I am your IT cheerleader. And I'm here for question and answers. If you have some questions that you would like to ask me and you don't or you're not able to catch my live stream, leave it down in the comments. And the next series that I do on Q&A, you can be featured if you would like to have your name um, stated out. I'm more than happy to do that. So again, this is going to be a series that I will be starting and it will be us, you YouTube cheerleader. Woo! So come on in. I thank you guys. I wish you all the best. Today is a good day to have a great day. I love you guys. Never stop dreaming. Go for your goals. If you want that viral video, you can do it. And guys, please comment down below. Share me out, like it, and subscribe to me, you I teach cheerleader. I love you guys. Love and light. Love and light. Love and light, guys. Bye.